Every spring for five long years I've been chasing down the same long beard It's get up early and I give him all I got Got me an old box called a brand new choke And this spring it ain't no joke I'm on a fool him good and finally get a shot well, he gobbled his head off on the roost I was just about to cook his goose He was coming in, then it's like he hit a wall Cause he's hung up, down in the holler I'd give up a couple hundred dollars If you break that strut and come in on a string Well, he must have found a new girlfriend And that dang old hen won't let him come in He's hung up Welcome back to another year with Hitchy Bottom Outdoors. The first hunt we got for you this year is the 2018 uh, spring turkey youth season with a little gauge right here. Opening morning right there, I called in two big old gobblers, got awesome footage of them coming in. I mean, you couldn't ask for any better. And we had the decoy set up, what was he, Mark 10 yards from us? 10, 15, went very far. 15. Yeah, something like that. Had to get them within range of Gage's big 410 right here. Next year we're hoping to graduate him up to at least a 20 gauge uh, youth, youth gun, right? So, something a little bigger. I'm already getting one a little bigger. Are you? Oh, okay. Anyhow, these turkeys came in and uh, one of the things we learned, maybe we should have let them stop because I mean these turkeys was right dead on top but they was real close to us. I didn't realize how close he was. I was looking at the viewfinder, and all of a sudden I seen the decoy's head pop up, and I just kind of raised my eyes and looked out there at the decoy, and right there they was. I mean, two big old gobblers, you'll see on the video. But uh, Gage cracks a shot at him, and first we might have thought he got him, but then they they come back up out there from us. Well, how far was it, Gage? About 70 yards? Was it too far for your 410? Mm -hmm. A little too far to take that kind of a poke, wasn't it? What'd you think when they was coming in? That's your first turkey hunt right there. What'd you think of them all fluffed out and stuff? Kind of cool. Huh? Kind of cool. What 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 did you think? What was that first? What did you think the first time you heard them gobble out there? I got some turkeys out there. What did you, you think when Daddy looked out the window of the ground blind we was in and seen them hens up in the trees? Huh? I didn't get to see them. You didn't get to see them? Don't worry, I didn't either. But you couldn't have beat that because they just sat up there yelping in the trees and more or less called the turkeys in for us. I had to call a little bit, not a whole lot. We go walk, We went walking in in the dark in there, get in the ground blind, and I mean right at daylight right there. Mark heard one of them yelping, and he raised the, he just turned and opened the window up a little bit, and I mean right there, we walked right by him, there was about four or five hens roosted in the trees right there, so it was it was a real fun morning, I mean, you'll, you'll see in the hunt, not everything goes as planned, but I mean, we had a lot of fun right there that morning, there was, there was a lot of memories made, and a, and a youth turkey hunter was born, not only with him, but with my nephew Ben too, which will be on the next video. So y'all stick with us and enjoy the hunt.
What you, what you, what you do? Is that a turkey that I didn't die? <laughs> She scared the life out of him though, right there. Uh, yeah. Was your heart beating as hard as mine and Daddy's? Did you, you reckon you knocked the feathers off of him? Mm-hmm. What what'd you say right after you shot? Huh? What what was it you said there? What'd you say? You remember? What'd you say? It's all happened to us. We still, we still got turkeys all around us right here. So we're gonna hang out and maybe we'll get lucky. And you know, if an old Jake will even come in here, we're gonna let Gage bust him. He's only seven years old. This is his first time out. So I tell you what, we're having a lot of fun here. Uh, this is the West Virginia youth season. Right Dad, my buddy Lane, has my nephew Ben. He's only nine out on his first turkey hunt. But I'm hoping they have some good luck too. But y'all stick with us. Maybe we'll get us one here in a little bit. Having a lot of fun this morning. Yeah, this was the first day of, of any kind of hunting season for the Itchy Bottom Crew for 2018. I just talked to Lane and it sounded like him and Dad weren't having a whole lot of luck killing one either. Well, Gage was right close. We picked a few feathers up out here. It looked like he might have shot just a little bit high and just knocked that chunk out of his fan. He's a little feller's only seven years old. This, is, this was his uh, first turkey hunt. Uh, still yet, I think me and Mark might have been a little more pumped than what he was. I know my heart was about to jump out of my chest, but uh, we had a lot of fun here this morning. The AVNX decoys done the job. You can see once them turkeys popped up out there where they could see us. I mean, they they come right up here to them, and we wasn't we're not 15 yards from a ground blind. We come in here this morning well in the dark because we knew these turkeys was roosting. It's a big meadow right here that Mark uh, clear cut and cleaned up a few years ago. And this, he did have this planted in field corn last fall. And them turkeys like to come out here and just scratch around, they dust and feed and stuff around in it. But we got in here well before daylight, come in here in the dark. And as it started getting daylight, them turkeys started gobbling out there. There was some hens just right here, I'm, I mean, not 50, 60 yards from us, was uh, roosted up in these trees right here. And, uh, we we didn't know, but they uh, they stayed up there for a pretty good while, even after the gobblers come in and run off there. As you can see, they came back up, but uh, they they weren't going to come back up here around the ground blind. I, th I think at one shot kind of shied them off there uh, I was, we just went down there we was talking Mark's looking for a place to he was kicking him out of spot right there getting it ready for Monday morning uh, maybe move out towards that point right there maybe get them turkeys come back in and kill one of them if they don't shy away but uh, while we standing right there there was another gobbler come up out of the holler on us right behind us and he was on top of us before we before we ever seen him and uh, we He's seen us, so. but we're gonna go on ahead and ease on out of here. It was a, it was a good morning. I know I had a lot of fun. How about you, Gage? Uh, I know Daddy did. Had a good time, didn't he? Y'all stick with us. Hopefully, before the end of the season, we'll 
lay four or five of them down. Well, he must have found a new girlfriend and that dang old hen won't let